Hi, I'm Mark Nersh. I'm an application engineer at GAMEX Laboratory Solutions. And today I will talk about the execution order in state flow. So what do I mean about execution order in state flow? Let's start with the really obvious stuff. So let's say that I'm in a state and that state has two possible transitions. And which will be tested first? Clearly the one with the lower number in. So the execution order of this state, uh, these transitions from the same state or number, and this will be the transition order. Now, if we add hierarchy to our systems, so superstates and substates, then things get more complicated. In that case, it's much more difficult to realize which transition will be tested first. So let's see what are the rules. So if we have superstates and substates, one of the rules is that the superstate transitions are tested first and only after that the substate transitions are tested. Another rule is that outer transitions are tested before inner transitions. So these are the two basic rules and let's see an example how this works. So if we have this example so we start from superstate 1, substate 1, sub-substate 1 and we want to see in which order are the transitions tested. The first transition to be tested will be A smaller than 0 because it's a superstate transition and it is also an outside transition. So if this condition is not true, the next condition to be tested it will be the I greater than zero because it's also part of the superstate however it is an inner transition if none of these are true then the next transition to be tested will be b greater than zero because this is part of the substate one and it has the number one besides it if this transition is not true the next to be tested will be i smaller than 0 because this has the number 2 besides it. If none of these transitions are true, the next to be tested will be from substate, sub substate 1 and in this case we need to take into account the numbering of the transitions. So we will have 1, 2, 3 here and this will be the testing order. Now regarding action execution order. We have an example for this. We will start from state A, substate A, and only condition 1 will be true. So let's see how this system works. So which will be the first transition to be tested? It will be the one that is part of the super state. So we will start from that outer transition. And the third thing that will happen is action 1. And this is because this is a condition action. And the condition action is executed whenever the condition is true. If we want that this action to be executed only when the transition actually takes place, then we need to put a slash before the action. And in that case, we will have a transition action. Now, what will happen next? So, when we are exiting the state, then the execution will start from the inside and will go to the outside. So, the first thing that will happen, we will exit A1. So, action 4 will be executed. And the next step will happen, we will exit A as well. As well. So, action 2 will be executed. After that, we will do the transition. However, this condition action was already executed, so it's not executed when we do the actual transition. After that we enter state B, we do not execute the during command because that's a during command, not an entry command. And after that we execute the display D2 because uh, this is the default transition in the state. 
after that we move into the B1 substrate. However, this during command is not executed at the first step because it's a during command. However, after that at each step, the during command at B and the during command at B1 will be executed. One more topic here regarding execution order and this is related to parallel states. So we can have exclusive states. So in this case A and B are exclusive states. Only A or B can be active at one time and we can have parallel states. That means that A1, A2 and A3 are active at the same time or B1, B2, B3 are active at the same time. It is also important to remember that these are not actually executed in parallel. So there is no concurrent execution. The execution order is given by these numbers, this 1, 2, 3. And this will be the execution order for parallel states. So key takeaways here. When we are talking about execution order in state flow, we have transition testing order. We also have action execution order. In the case of the transition testing order, we start from the super, super states and we go to the substates only after that and we test outer transition first and only after that inner transition. And when we are talking about action execution order, then when we are exiting, then we start from the inner state and we go to the outer state. When we entering, then we are going from the outer state and we are going to the substates. And we do the same for during commands as well. About parallel states, so we can have exclusive or parallel states. And when we are talking about parallel states, we do mean that they can be active at the same time. However, they are executed sequentially. If you're working on bigger projects, the model-based design could be really interesting for you. The model management and architecture training also embedded coder could be really important for you because you could generate SQL from the state field charts and also report generator so you can create your documentation faster. We provide services for most of the toolboxes, so if you're interested in this, please visit our website. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and also visit our webpage. Thank you. Bye and see you in the next video.